Hey there, duelists. Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to be talking about YCS Indianapolis. But before we dive into all that, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon for notifications on new stuff. Let's get into it. Oh boy, another leg. One more piece. One more <laughs> piece. The crowd is chanting, one more piece. <laughs> this is a historical moment here in Indianapolis. Oh my goodness. It has been an honor to sit in the booth and watch Jeffrey in games one and three. And Appaloosa? Oh, just for the extra bet, just in case. Just in case. We're going to go into Appaloosa at the end of this. This is clean. This is very clean. We got the other arm. <laughs> and all five pieces have been assembled. The legs, the arms, the head. Exodia obliterate. <laughs> Unbelievable. Wow, the crowd goes insane. Age of Overlord gave us a lot of big cards with big effects. The power creep is real, but we don't care about all that meta stuff. Right now, we're trying to talk about one of the best live streams, possibly the best live stream ever. Now, you may know Jeffrey as the Mystic Mind Dad. He joined the game with his son, won a couple uh, regionals and big events with Mystic Mindburn, and you'll see him again, but this time, he's playing something original. Exodia. I have to say, seeing this kind of matchup in real life at the event was something else. The air was filled with electricity, anticipation, and most importantly, perspiration. Because his opponent was sweating. Jeffrey won die roll, which is really good for his Exodia FTK deck, which is warrior.exodia.deck. The only response he had was set one Pass. The stars had definitely aligned for Jeffrey. The heart of the cards was bleeding luck over Jeffrey at this YCS event because this was an absolutely historic moment for the game as well as for anyone who was there watching it. Being in that crowd and yelling, one more piece, one more piece, as Jeffrey adds the last piece of Exodia for the win, absolutely historic. Out of everything I was expecting to see at this YCS, Exodia was the last thing on my mind. And with that, we will segue into our meta discussion. We have the top 32 list here from YCS Indianapolis. It is a very diverse list, all right? Very diverse. So one thing that I see a lot of is decks. We had 15 different decks in top 32. We've got Sprite Adventure, Exo Sister, Tri Brigade Sprite, Rescue Ace, Sun Avalon Rika, Flundries, Vanquish Soul, Horus Bestial, Runic Labyrinth, Manadium, Unchained, Tier Elements, Purely, and Sinful Spoils, Rescue Ace. Now, Sinful Spoils, Rescue Ace is one third. It was a massive chunk of top cut. So Rescue Ace, what do they do? They basically set four back row, a monster Book of Moon, and they play on your turn. So if you remember our Ice Pass meta review, you'll see that anything that can play on your opponent's turn ends up being a pretty decent choice if you want to play it competitively. Uh, Sinful Spoils Rescue Ace. If they're able to get SP Little Knight on the field before they summon Turbulence, you won't be able to hit Turbulence with Imperm, Veiler, or any other card that targets because they will SP Little Knight on the Turbulence effect zip it and SP away, you'll, he'll still get the set four and everything will come back and end phase. Now Rescue Ace is really versatile and it's been gaining popularity lately because of its consistency and the, the variety of lines of play that you can do with the deck. One of their main uh, game mechanics in Rescue Ace is monsters on field. If you are able to get rid of their monsters on field, their back row becomes inert. They can't play it. It's a similar mechanic to when Sky Striker has a monster in their main monster zone. It turns off a lot of their cards. You can force out a lot of negates and a lot of interaction with board, board breaker cards. Who would have guessed? Now, I will say out of 1,907 people, we do have two sprite decks in the top 32, which personally I really enjoyed seeing. I love sprite. I love the deck. I love the level twos. I'm probably going to be on Sprite Live Twin here coming up because I've been on Live Twin ever since they came out and Sprites are just the kind of thing to push the decks over the edge that just need to get stuff on field. Get those level 2s on field, go into battle, take control of the game. Uh, that's really where the strong points of this deck come into play. 
There is one pure runic deck in top 32, which I was very surprised to see, because you don't see runic control being a very big contender in today's meta. You can disrupt that deck a lot if you use DD Crow to banish a spell that they target out of the graveyard, because then they don't get the effect of Fountain. It's safe to say that Rescue Ace is going to be around for a while unless it gets hit on the ban list or someone figures out how to break it. But honestly, this deck is so consistent, and with the new Diabell Star cards, it makes it even more dangerous. If you put up a weak board, they can just OTK you the next turn. So this is definitely one of the most aggressive decks out there in the meta right now. That's it for this video. Don't forget to like, share, and comment down below if you enjoyed the YCS or if you were there. I'll see you guys in the next video. Duel on.